Hey! What's up, you guys? Shortimus Prime here doing another TMNT action figure review set on the TMNT Nicktoons Revel Tech Ninja Turtles. If you're trying to get these figures yourself, you can give it a big, bad toy Big, big, big. Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Now, you have the option to buy these separately. I got them all at once over here, and I think these look really awesome. As you can see, you get the color-coordinated packaging over here for each of the turtles. And then looking at the side of each of the boxes, they all have their color coordinated little stripe up here at the top, their names on the side over there. And on the back of each of these packages, you can see that they've posed them in many ways, and there's a bunch of Japanese writing here that I don't really understand. On the side of the packaging, it shows you how you can move the joints, and same thing with the bottom of each of the packages of the figures. And one thing I thought was kind of weird is that there's no tape at the top of these, you know, these packages are not sealed. So anyway, let's get to it and crack these figures open. So here are the turtles out of the packaging, and I must say these are incredible figures. Very expensive. Oh, they are very, very expensive. But they they are awesome. I really like them a lot. Of course, I do have my gripes, but for the most part, I think they're absolutely incredible. Fun factor through the roof. They are awesome to pose, and they do come with some awesome accessories as well. So let's take a closer look at those, and then we'll take a closer look at the turtles. Each of the turtles come with their own display base, and I think all four of these are awesome. And they also have a Revel Tech peg sticking out of each of them as well, which I think is brilliant. And all four of these come in two separate pieces. The purple section for each of them is just slightly different, and they don't interconnect, which is something I had thought about but not a big deal and I like the sculpt right over here and you just take the 45 right over there and just plug it in and I like how they sculpted this brick and the metallic paint that they used for the pipe is really nice too and then you can see there's the joint and one thing about Leonardo's that's unique is that you could actually take the Revel Tech joint out of this section and plug it into the 90 right there and that's pretty sweet. Yeah, my wife was a plumber. This is the one that came with Donatello. I think the paint apps on this fire hydrant look very nice. I think it was smart that they made the Revel Tech joint pink to match the top of the fire hydrant over here. Got some nice gunmetal paint right here for this pipe. Same store cover with all the other ones. Here we go with Raphael's. Then you get this Revel Tech joint all the way right up there. This is like a mailbox or something. And lastly, Michelangelo's having the tallest stand. So you get two one-way signs over here, and then you get the Revel Tech joint. And seeing these figures on these display stands just looks too damn awesome. I am very, very impressed with what Revel Tech's done here. I think this is genius. So here are the weapons for all four of the turtles. And look at those silver paint apps and look how sharp this blade is. And I like how it's tapered off to an edge over here. Same thing with the top part. And then the handle of the sword right here looks great too. Oh, the katana is awesome. And it does have a peg so you can plug it into his hand. And then same thing with this one, you know, they're identical. The sheaths to Leonardo's swords do come separately. You just peg them into his back. Uh, don't be shy about pushing them all the way in there. That looks pretty good. There's a little bit of it resting up top over here, but that doesn't bother me at all. Similar thing with Leonardo's swords. We get a peg sticking out to each of the sides for Raphael. And these sides are gorgeous. Again, nice silver paint, great sculpting. The blade right here in the middle is extremely thin. In. So I'm afraid to break it, but it seems like it's made out of very strong plastic. And Raphael does have little holsters in his back over here, so you can place the size like that if you'd like. I really like the sculpting on the bow staffs for Donatello. Uh, unfortunately, though, they do have the peg also, and he has peg holes in his hands. Uh, for the staff, I don't really like that as much because he holds them just fine. I feel like it kind of dictates exactly where you're supposed to have him hold the staff, and I don't really like that as much. So if you want him holding the staff like this, and as you can see, the peg is on neither hand, you know, that still works too. So you can do whatever you want with the staff. You just have to spin this around so that it's not, you know, pointing right at the camera or whatever. And he also comes with the one with the secret shank at the end, shank, right there, and that looks great, just like Leonardo's sword. It's very sharp and it's very, very metallic, and I like it a lot. Now, a good thing about that port is that you can plug it right into Donatello's back over here. And here's one of Michelangelo's nunchucks. He actually comes with two chained nunchucks, then he has one extra twirling nunchuck, which I'll show in a second. But these look awesome, nice detail. Paints are very, very strong on these, you know, not cheaply painted at all. I like that he has actual metal chains over here. Now Michelangelo does have storage for his nunchucks. It's a little tricky putting these in, but you want to make sure the tops of them are even and then slide it through the bottom of these loops over here and then it'll stay like that and that is not too bad. And you can shake it around, it's not gonna fall out. <laughs> See, it also comes with another handle right over here and it has a Revel Tech joint pointing in it so you can rotate it around and you can get it to hinge up and down. You just plug it right there into the center of that twirling nunchuck effect and that looks amazing. I absolutely love this. All these lines right here going through are all sculpted in there. I feel like a greedy bastard that I wish he came with two of these. You know, it, it, this is so awesome. It'd just be so cool to have have Michelangelo holding one of these in each hand. Do you like penicillin on your pizza? I thought it was great that Leonardo came with this pizza over here. This is awesome. Ah, oh, pepperoni. I love pepperoni pizza. Yeah, I'm more of a fan of combination, but I like that you could take these off over here. It's kind of hard to keep track, but you know, they all have their own different ports that go 
on to the pan right over here so you can see those two big holes uh, they go right over there uh, this is a bigger hole and a small hole so you can just figure it out as you go along and lastly each figure comes with its own interchangeable head which is awesome Donatello is unique because he comes with a little heart that goes around his neck as well but I like all these very expressive anime inspired kind of faces that they have here now to change these out it can be a little tricky then this may happen to you too uh, one thing I recommend you do though is like use the neck joint like rotate it around like loosen that paint up in there or you may want to use a hair dryer or something but yeah interchanging these things can be a pain in the butt line the heart up right there put the peg back in and then put the drooly Donatello head right in there. And that looks pretty awesome. Now you can have your Donatello set up drooling over April O'Neil. And they all have interchangeable bandana ends, so when you switch the heads out, you wanna make sure you switch this out along with the heads. Then they have this function right here in the back. So you just wanna plug that in, make sure that the hinge is not going the same direction as this slider right over here. So you wanna plug that in like so, and then you can shift this side to side, and what that does is it makes the eyes move, and that is so cool. It's kind of frustrating sometimes that slider piece is very stiff, but it works very well, and I think it's very cool. And if you want the eyes totally wired out, you just gotta move it all the way to one side, and then you get their battle faces. I really like the head sculpts for all of these turtles. I like the color that they gave Leo, and I really like the paint. It's very nice matted paint. It's very high quality. I really like it a lot. I like the facial expression that they gave him. He has his blue eyes. Unfortunately for all the ones that have the sliding eyes thing going on, they have this slit right here going across the faces like it's an interchangeable face, but they're all just sculpted like that for this little mechanism back here. His bandana is sculpted pretty nicely. It's pretty clean. I really like how Leonardo looks a lot. This is a very, very cool figure. Then looking at Donatello over here, you can see he's got his little gap tooth right over there and he's a different green color than Leonardo of course he has a longer bandana back here I think Raphael's green color is supposed to be a little bit different than this it seems awfully similar to Leonardo's green color but they are slightly different so it's not a big deal but I really like his angry head sculpt over here and then he has a very tattered bandana as he should have and then here's Mikey with his bright blue eyes and he has some freckles right there on his cheeks very nice facial expression for Michelangelo and then there's the bandana right there now each of these figures have their own unique body sculpts which I think is fantastic there may be some reused parts here like for instance the arms and hands I think those may be reused I can tell that the feet are different though they all have their own unique straps right here and they're actually sculpted differently but my biggest complaint with these turtles that really really bugs me more than anything else are these shoulders the shoulders look weird to me I may be the only one who thinks this but I feel like they're too like like I don't know they're too shrugged up or something like especially when you look at Michelangelo like that it's just kind of weird I don't know I, I wish there was like an armpit joint in here or something that could make these shift down. I feel like they're always kind of like <laughs> like chuckling or something like that. It's a little annoying, but you know, once you start posing them around, it's not so bad. And all the arms have this natural arch going on in the sculpt too, so that can make it a little strange for some poses. But other than that, these are absolutely fantastic figures. Tell Leonardo has his own unique sculpt right over here. He has some nice gold paint apps right there. Donatello with the strap for his bow staff. And looking at the back of all four of these figures, you can see they all have their own little colito right over there for each of their stands which is pretty awesome the shells are all sculpted uniquely too just looking at the size difference between Raphael's shell over there compared to Michelangelo and you can tell that Raphael's got some more scuffs and everything in there Donatello's is all thin and pretty clean Leonardo's is pretty average looking. One thing worth noting is if you have a Figma or a Tamashi stand, it'll fit straight into that butthole just fine. And even though these are cartoon figures, there's a lot of details in here. You can see Leonardo right over there. There's a bunch of different little nicks in the front part of his shell. You can see there's even some little sculpted nicks right there in the waist strap for Donatello. You can see that signature break in the front of Raphael's shell right over there. And then you can get some sculpted little dents in the front of the shell for Mikey. I really like the paint on all these figures, by the way. It just seems like a very strong paint, and it's the thickly applied too, but it doesn't chip. I have had no paint chipping at all. Even though they have their own unique body sculpt, each turtle has the same articulation as the other. Uh, they have two joints at the neck over here, which I think is awesome. There's one joint that churns right here where it attaches to the torso, and then there's another hinge right here, right at the neck. And I think that's great. It allows for a lot of posability, and that's really cool. You can rotate the head side to side. Uh, you could hinge this whole, th you could swing this whole thing around so you can make them look up and off to the side like that. You could basically turn the head in any direction you want to. It is pretty impressive. Uh, he has these ball jointed shoulders 
shoulders right here that move upward. You can rotate them forward. He has a swivel right here at the shoulder, or at the bicep anyway. And you have to be a little familiar with Reveltech joints. This is the average Reveltech joint, and this is what it explains on the side of the packaging. I mean, basically, you get this hinge right over here, and then you get rotation on both ends. And you basically get that throughout the entire figure. Same thing with the elbows. It bends all the way in over there, and you can rotate at the elbow. He has wrists that move side to side, and you can hinge them around any direction you want to. He has these little ball jointed thumb and fingers over here, so I think that's great. You get the clamping action, and you can rotate each of those fingers. He has great torso articulation. Man, I'm very, very happy about this. This is a huge selling point for me. So you can get him to crunch forward like that, and I think that's great. And then there's not a whole lot of side to side movement, but because we have these Rebel Tech joints, you can split it apart a little bit. You could actually just totally remove it, and there's your regular bigger Rebel Tech joint right there. And then plug it right back in, and then get it to crunch so you could get it to crunch even more so. And you can get it rotating side to side as well. You do have to loosen it, make sure you don't get any paint rub, but you can do a lot of stuff with this. You could just turn it all the way around like that. He does have these hip joints right here. You can get him to kick all the way forward. You could rotate this around and get him kicking outward. He has an upper thigh swivel. He has a single jointed knee that bends all the way in. You also get a little bit of rotation over here at the knee. And then the ankles are on ball joints as well. They could point downward, point upward, rotate side to side, and the beautiful ankle pivot. And there's no peg holes or anything like that at the bottom of their feet. So the shortest turtle Michelangelo stands at 5 inches tall and the tallest one Donatello stands just at about 5.5 inches tall. Here's Rival Tech Turtles compared to classic collection Leonardo. Still need to get those movie ones. I've said many times in the past that the NECA TMNT figures are the, my favorite Ninja Turtles figures ever and these Rebel Tech ones are way up there. I can't say at the moment which ones I like more because I've had these guys for years and I've just gotten these ones so time will only tell. Here they are next to the TMNT Nicktoons Donatello from the Playmates Basic line. Then here they are next to Michelangelo from the 2014 movie. And to compare them to your average 6 inch scale American figure, here's the Marvel Legends Big Time Latin Spider-Man. Now I do have some gripes with these figures here and there, you know what I mean? The thing with the shoulders and then sometimes it's really finicky getting them posed just the way you want to, especially with the arms. But for the most part, these are absolutely amazing. Fun factor through the roof. I highly recommend it for adult collectors. Uh, 60 bucks a piece though. They are not cheap. So I don't recommend them for kids, but I am very happy with them. And I hope you guys liked my video. If you did, please hit the like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of these figures. Let me know what's your favorite Ninja Turtle. Mine's Leonardo. And then don't forget to subscribe and check out ToyNewsEye.com for a full photo gallery of images taken from this review. I took a lot of pictures of these guys. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Feel like it kind of dictate. Oh, dictate. <laughs>